Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I'm not sure that I have had a video in the last three or four years where I haven't used at least one piece of gear from my favorite manufacturer, Malcolm at the Hidden Woodsman. He's always looking to make new designs for the avid outdoorsman and he wanted to make something for the everyday person, an EDC type backpack. I've used his very popular Dayruck for a long time, so now he has his Dayruck EDC. So what makes them different and are they worth the money? Well, stay tuned and we're gonna check out the Dayruck EDC from the Hidden Woodsman. You will not wanna miss this product. Thanks guys. Here is the backpack. Now I will note, and I'm being lazy, I'm gonna tell y'all now, I have this Molly pouch on front and it's such a pain to get them on and off sometimes. This is a long one. So I, I kept it on. This pouch on the front here, okay, is not part of the backpack. It's just the other side. Underneath it is just a big, huge panel of Molly straps. Capacity of this is 18 liters and the dimensions are 15.6 by 11 by four and a half. This is 500D military grade construction. Padded shoulder straps on the back, super comfortable. We'll talk about those here in a little while. You've got some daisy chain up here. You can um, attach whatever you want. You've got adjustable sternum strap as well. Side pouches. I've got my uh, Pathfinder titanium Nalgene. This will hold a titanium uh, canteen like the Keith or heavy cover canteen. It will fit it just fine. I'll show you guys the inside and ready for some color. Bam! As you can see, it is super brightly colored. And that is one of the things Malcolm always does. It makes it so nice to find things when you have this really bright color inside. The price is $175. So I'm going to bring y'all in, show you a little bit more about the specifics and the inside of this pack. So the inside, I want to show you guys the inside. It's got this padded pouch back here. All this is padded. It's got a drawstring inside is big, okay? This is the nice main interior um, pocket, and it has a front mesh pouch right here. I've got a couple of face masks, you know, what you need in the pandemic. This is a great face mask holder, um, but it is a nice 18 liter pack. It's got a very sturdy uh, grab handle on top. Very nice black Hidden Woodsman badge. Look at that, that is awesome. Make sure you take a good look at that. These badges are awesome, and this black one's the first one I have with a black badge. Got a good look at the side pouch. It is very big. Let me show you guys. In case to you it looks like it won't hold what I said it would hold, it does hold the canteen. It will hold it, as you can see. There's your canteen. Nice and stable in there. It's very well made, and there you go. This will stretch out, like I said, over time. Padding is awesome. In case you are wondering it does have a zipper pouch here that you can put stuff inside and you can see once again it is high high visibility you can see the back of the molly grid on the front here so i'll just give you a quick look at what my edc looks like i do have my nalgene from the pathfinder school here on the side on this side i have chargers i have chargers for my phone i have a charger for my microsoft surface and normally I'm a charger for my MacBook, but it's not in there right now. On the front pocket here, again, this is not part of the actual kit, but I, I'll show you guys what I carry. I've got a small bag here with extra charging cables and a Bluetooth mouse for my Surface. Got some keys. I've got a little charging block. I have the SOG scissors, extra Android uh, cell phone. This is the key fob for uh, controlled substances that I have. I also carry the Thrunite T1. This is a great little EDC light. And I always have a multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Wave Plus, which I really, really like. And a couple of pens, etc. I will show y'all on the inside how good it works. You can see I have my stethoscope. I have a little dictaphone that I use to dictate notes. And then in the bottom I have several hard drives and cases. Uh, the best thing to look at though is up here. I have my Microsoft Surface in a little padded case, and I carry my full-size MacBook Pro in this um, compartment up here. Like I showed you guys, it has elastic, and it is very well padded, and it works great because you could put two MacBooks if you wanted to. I use this Surface case because it adds padding to the Surface, of course, but also to one side of the MacBook, and the padding that Malcolm puts in there already 
pads the other side of the MacBook. That's pretty much what I carry every day. You can definitely see though that it holds a lot and is a great EDC backpack. So despite all the options I have behind me for backpacks from Malcolm at the Hidden Woodsman, why would I pick one of these Dayruck EDCs up the very first day that it was released, no questions asked? Well, there's a few reasons. First of all, Malcolm is a good guy and he has a small business trying to take on the big box companies, the large companies that mass produce things, make them cheaper because they're able to mass produce them with cheaper labor. Malcolm is one of the little guys trying to have a business in a difficult environment and doing it the right way and doing it himself. You simply will not get the quality and attention to detail that you get out of a Hidden Woodsman product. Now look, you can go to like Duluth Trading and probably spend twice as much for a pack and I'm still not sure it's gonna be that much better. As normal as the outside looks, the inside and the details are what make a difference. That high visibility inside, something I've never seen in other backpacks, really, really makes looking inside of this pack and finding what you need super easy. I review a lot of products here on the channel. Over time, that's a lot of what I do. Uh, I spend about half the year doing mainly reviews because it's so darn hot. Right now it's 98 degrees outside and I'm going to stick to the air conditioning. I get all these people talking about how I should get out, you need to dress. Look, there are like a thousand mosquitoes, it's 98 degrees. You come on down to Louisiana and you go out there and make a video in that heat. Anyway, I digress. I stay inside a lot, so I do a lot of reviews. When push comes to shove, I'm always going to favor the smaller cottage type industries. People like Malcolm or Dutchware Gear or Hammock Gear. These are the companies that make uh, high quality products in small batches by hand, and it is worth supporting those companies. Yes, it costs more, but you're helping people that really need the help and getting amazing quality gear. Second, I love my original day ruck from Malcolm and the larger backpacks that I have but an EDC backpack had to be different and Malcolm knew that. I really wanted something that wouldn't attract any attention. I didn't want it to look super military. I wanted it to just kind of blend in. I also wanted something with mesh side pouches. He really decided to do that, I think, because it makes the look of this more of an everyday, simple, basic backpack that you can carry your stuff in and it won't really uh, look too out of place in day-to-day -day life or on the streets of anywhere from where I live in Louisiana up to New York City. I also wanted a place to safely and securely store my MacBook. You guys saw how well it stores my MacBook. It is the 16 inch, the larger MacBook. Fits perfectly, have had no issues with it. I've been carrying this backpack now for about a month since I got it every single day. No problems chunking it around. I've got my computer in there. It is not in any kind of protective uh, case. It is right inside of the backpack. Works perfect. In addition, I wanted something that I could customize like I did. Y'all saw that front pouch customized with Molly accessories. Uh, as you can see again back here, all these backpacks have some kind of Molly integration into them and it really allows you to turn a basic backpack into something that's more your style. I really needed to be able to get to a couple of things very easily during the day, whether it be a, a separate cell phone that I use for work, a token to sign my controlled substances. These things need to be right in front. A lot of backpacks have that integrated, but it's still difficult to get in there. Having the ability to use that pouch with Molly keeps it on the outside and allows me to do it and make it exactly the way I want it. The last thing I'll say is that all of Malcolm's backpacks have been very comfortable, but he is getting better at his craft all the time. This is without question the most comfortable backpack from the Hidden Woodsman that I have ever owned. So look, many would say $175 is way overpriced. It's not overpriced. In this world that we live in, you pay for quality products. You do it every single day. You can go buy a cheap phone or you can get the newest Android or you can get the newest iPhone. Most of us out there have the higher quality things, at least when we can afford them. And if you're going to have something you carry every day, day in day, why not pay for something that's going to last? You can get on Amazon and buy a cheap backpack for 30 or $40. You'll buy a new one every year for the next 10 years. Won't take long to get to your $175. The materials are of the highest quality. The stitching is perfect. It is extremely comfortable to wear and you can support a company that is working hard against these big companies that they're never gonna win the battle. They're gonna survive. And if we can support people like Malcolm and we have the opportunity and the means to do so, if you have the opportunity and the means to do so, I ask you to do it because look, Ultimately, we've all been in places where we needed support. I need support every day. People need to come see me as their doctor. I wouldn't have a business without people that come to see me and trust me taking care of them. 
and you can support a small business here in America that really needs help these days. The pandemic has hurt all of us. Uh, look, I depend on my patients to come and create my business, and people like Malcolm depend on us to use his products, realize and understand the value of the products, and purchase them long term. If you're not ready to make a big purchase like a backpack, he sells tons of smaller pouches. You want to get an idea of the quality of the workmanship that Malcolm puts out. Buy one of his little pouches. Buy a Possible's pouch or buy my favorite piece of gear probably from him, the signal panel. You will see quickly the quality of the products you'll get. And by the way, I want to make it very clear, I am not employed by the Hidden Woodsman. I'm not an ambassador for the Hidden Woodsman. I don't get free stuff from Malcolm at the Hidden Woodsman. Everything I've bought, I've purchased myself. My relationship to Malcolm, I've, I'm his friend. I communicate with him over social media, but everything I've gotten, I am simply a satisfied customer. I know how hard he works. I know he's competing against these big boys, and I'm not at all worried to tell you guys this is the best gear you can buy, and I stand by it absolutely. I have 100% confidence that all this gear you see behind me, everything I've got in my storage over here, all these pouches, everything I've bought from Malcolm will be handed down to my children and to their children. That's the kind of gear heirloom gear, the kind of gear that you're getting from the Hidden Woodsman. I know that I'm talking it up and I know a lot of you will say that I'm crazy, but it really does make a difference. I think it's important to try to help people that are trying to do a good thing. Okay, I'm going to get off my high horse about the Hidden Woodsman. As y'all can tell, I really love the gear. It's not just the quality. It just It's a feel. It's that old world feel, that military feel. It's pretty cool. What makes the Dayruck EDC different is that it doesn't have that older world feel, although it still has it. It's more modern. It's a modern take on his backpack, and you will be super happy with it. I guarantee you it's the most comfortable backpack you'll wear. If you're interested, check out down below, and I will leave a link to all the products that I got, his Dayrug EDC, as well as the front pouch that I put on it in case you're looking for something like that. He's got a couple of really sweet colors with this EDC Dayrug. Check those out. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I've done quite a few videos on Malcolm's gear over time. I'll try to make sure and leave links down below to all of those. A lot of cool stuff that I've collected over the last three or four years. If you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube, helps me out. I'm also just a small businessman here trying to make a little YouTube channel. So anything that you guys can do to help me, I would appreciate it. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you're aware every time I publish a new video, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know. Every time Malcolm releases something new that's big, there's a very happy person in this household, and there's a person who starts complaining that I have too much gear. Well, I look forward to the next big release from Malcolm because we're going to have a disappointed wife. As always, guys, appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Go check out Malcolm's website. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.